What's going on guys? So right behind me, I have Aru's old enclosure. And for those of you that don't know, this is Aru, my green tree python. She's an Aru green tree python. I named her after her locale, but anyways, so then we're gonna be doing a little makeover for her enclosure. I'm gonna see if I could hopefully put some live plants in here and see if they'll be able to survive. Uh, when I have put live plants in the past, most of them died off like within the next few months. So hopefully this goes well. If not, I have a bunch of fake plants that I could use as well, but I think this time I'm gonna do a good job. Here are some of the things that I've gotten for Aru's enclosure. The um, substrate is going to just be regular topsoil. This is what I always use. I like my two favorite things to use is uh, regular organic topsoil with some cypress mulch. No co extra color added, just nice and natural. Um, but yeah, pretty much all I'm going to be doing is putting these bricks of dirt inside of Aru's enclosure. And I want to make the, uh, the substrate pretty deep since I'm going to be adding plants. I forgot to mention, but at the bottom, I added a drainage layer. That's just so that all the water goes down there and it doesn't make the, the dirt uh, super wet and soaked because then it starts smelling stinky and it starts creating moss or not moss but fungus and it just gets really nasty. Uh, so this is gonna, this right here is what divides it. It's just gonna be um, what you put under mulch, you know, so that weeds don't grow, but it has enough hole for the water to get through into this part. And once I see that this has too much water, you know, I'll stop adding water, let it dry out a little bit and that way it just keeps the substrate from getting super soaked. So I put this rock here and this is just gonna help it hold it up a little bit more. I mean, I'm gonna glue it to the glass anyways, or honestly, I might not. This is silicone, by the way. This is what I use to hold it because it sticks to the glass better. And then I'll use this foam uh, to secure it. The silicone is just like the base uh, because this does not stick to the glass too good. So I'll put this on the glass and, this, and I'll allow this to stick to the glass well. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna use this to like glue the parts that I need to glue uh, Just to make it a little bit stronger and then that's when I'll I'll foam it at the end I Put the silicone in on the three spots that are touching either the, the background the glass or I put this rock here So that I wouldn't have to silicone it to the glass and I kind of just wanted to put a rock there because I thought it looked kind of cool um, but now after letting it dry, we're gonna go ahead and spray this. This is just foam It dries quick and we can cut it if we make too much of a mess So let's just go ahead and spray it in the three spots to hold it a little bit tighter And this one is white normally in the past I use the black one because I feel like it looks nicer You can see the black one right there where I use it in the other enclosure, but um, this is the one that was cheaper, so I went with this one and we're going to coat it with something else later on, you're going to see. This is definitely better in the parts that has like the foam or the rock because it doesn't stick to glass very really good. And if it does stick, once it dries up, it could come off a little bit easier, which is what happened there. That's why this time I'm using silicone to hold it a little bit better. All right, so the foam already dried up. Now all I gotta do is cut it a little bit because I don't want it so, you know, big and foamy. We just wanna cut it up so that it holds the wood and does its job and doesn't go overboard. All right, so there we go. I already cut it up a bit, made it a little bit smaller. Here, I decided to leave this one a little bit wider because it's in the back and it's not really that big a deal. And I made a little hole here because I want to put a plant there. Right now, they're white, so I want to put silicone all over them and then coat it with this sphagnum moss, peat moss, or sphagnum peat moss, uh, which is just really thin, kind of like this. And that would just make it look a little bit more natural. As you can see, I'm getting this bad boy nice and coated with a nice thick layer of silicone. And like I said, this is white, so it's not easy to know what is what. So once I actually mix it, it kind of looks like that because I can't see where the silicone is, but this one I'm coating it real thick so that I hopefully I'm able to cover as much as I can right away. Yeah. Another good thing about this is that it just makes it a little bit stronger or probably a lot stronger. Uh, now, so hold the wood a bit better. Oh, I got that dirty. But it's all right, that's easy to take off the glass with a...
All right, so that is all I have done for today. I'm not gonna do any more because it's already getting late. So I'm gonna just leave it and there's still some parts that need to dry. So tomorrow, it's already gonna be safe for Aru to go in. The only things that I wanna do is with some hot glue, just put a little bit of more moss on this side and on this side. And after that, she's already ready to go in. I finished Aru's enclosure already. Now all we have to do is put her in. But the things that I did today, I didn't record anything, but all I did was just hot glue these plants here um or the moss rather to the edge just to make it look a little bit prettier um i sat some more moss on some parts and i turned on the waterfall i also cramped up some little moss in there and as you can see it looks real nice so that's where aru is going to be drinking water um, i'm going to take out the moss that fell in right now it's a little bit messy but once we start watering it down all the moss and, and all the dirt and stuff is going to start falling off the plants and off of the uh, places where it's not supposed to be but i think it came out pretty good all right, now the moment we've all been waiting for, time to put Aru in and see how she likes it. I wanted to put her along the water so that she could find that right away. It looks like she's finally starting to go and explore it a little bit. later that night so i came to check up on aru and it looks like she is exploring her new enclosure now it's nighttime, so that's when she feels a little bit more comfortable coming out and she's exploring it looks like the plants are actually holding up pretty well the only ones that aren't are those two right there and i'm just gonna leave them in there to see what happens i do keep uh readjusting them but she likes to move along the back there and it moves them down that plant i think is pretty good and these down here i think are pretty good for the most part um, that one is probably going to be the one with the most issue and maybe the two air plants in the front. All right, so it's been about two weeks now since Aru has been inside of this enclosure. And as you can see, it looks like she is really enjoying it because she sheds perfectly in here. Uh, there's only one thing that I did notice that I don't like. And that is, that, as you can see, Aru likes to get tucked into that corner every night. Um, I'm not really sure if that's just because of the darkness or if it's just uh because it's too hot here so i switched out the heat bulb i was using this one before which i think was a little bit too hot which is why she was going down there now it's going to be 80 degrees there where she's at and towards the top it's going to be a little bit warmer but before it was close to like between 88 to 90 where she's at so it was a little too hot for her and that's why she would go there when the lights were on but now she should be enjoying this spot 24 7 hopefully tomorrow when i come see her she's gonna be uh, sleeping on the stick and not just hiding away so that we could see her because as you can see this enclosure looks so nice with her as the centerpiece right there all right so it's been one month now since i made aru's enclosure and she's enjoying it a lot uh the plants are doing well and she is hanging out on these spots now 24 7 before the previous bowl was a little bit too hot which is weird because that's the one that i used um in the old enclosure which is the same enclosure and the wood, I feel like it was even higher. So I don't know why that bulb for some reason now was hotter than it was before. But um, when I measured it, it was actually 88 degrees, which is definitely too hot for her to just be chilling there. Um, it was between 88 and 90. Uh, so it changed a little bit, I guess, depending on whether I had the window open or not. Unfortunately, all the moss dried out before I managed to figure out what was going on. Um, but now it's a lot better. And I feel like if, I put new moss in here I probably will eventually and I also think that maybe it has to do with it just being like bagged moss from Home Depot I don't know if that's alive I don't know if it was just that I didn't spray it down enough I've been spraying down this enclosure a lot um, I sprayed it down two times a day and like a good amount to get all the plants so nice and soaked um, and I think they're doing pretty good uh, so far but yeah the other thing i want to add eventually is isopods and springtails but i just haven't gotten those yet so when i do i'll be throwing them in here as well um but the good thing at least is the aru sticks out a lot since you know there's less green in the enclosure now so maybe i'll keep it like that just because she'll be easier to see all right so that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day